1983, a team of deeply pious scientists conducted a radical experiment in an undisclosed facility. The scientists have theorized that a human without access to any senses or ways to perceive stimuli would be able to perceive the presence of God. They believe that the five senses clouded our awareness of eternity, and without them, a human could actually establish contact with God by thought. An elderly man who claimed to have nothing left to live for was the only test subject to volunteer. To purge him of all his senses, the scientists performed a complex operation in which every sensory nerve connected to the brain was surgically severed. Although the test subject retained full muscular function, he could not see, hear, taste, smell, or feel. With no possible way to communicate with or even sense the outside world, he was alone with his thoughts. Scientists monitored him as he spoke aloud about his state of mind in jumbled, slurred sentences that he couldn't even hear. After four days, the man claimed to be hearing hushed, unintelligible voices in his head. Assuming it was an onset of psychosis, the scientists paid little attention to the man's concerns. Two days later, the man cried that he could hear his dead wife speaking with him, and even more, he could communicate back. The scientists were intrigued, but were not convinced until the subject started naming dead relatives of the scientists. He repeated personal information to the scientists that only their dead spouses and parents would have known. At this point, a sizable portion of scientists left the study. After a week of conversing with the deceased through his thoughts, the subject became distressed, saying the voices were overwhelming. In every waking moment, his consciousness was bombarded by hundreds of voices that refused to leave him alone. He frequently threw himself against the wall, trying to elicit a pain response. He begged the scientists for sedatives so he could escape the voices by sleeping. This tactic worked for three days, until he started having severe night terrors. The subject repeatedly said that he could see and hear the deceased in his dreams. Only a day later, the subject began to scream and claw at his non-functional eyes, hoping to sense something in the physical world. The hysterical subject now said the voices of the dead were deafening and hostile, speaking of hell and the end of the world. At one point he yelled, no heaven, no forgiveness, for five hours straight. He continually begged to be killed, but the scientists were convinced that he was close to establishing contact with God. After another day, the subject could no longer form coherent sentences. Seemingly mad, he started to bite off chunks of flesh from his arm. The scientists rushed into the test chamber and restrained him to the table so he could not kill himself. After a few hours of being tied down, the subject halted his struggling and screaming. He stared blankly at the ceiling as teardrops silently streaked across his face. For two weeks, the subject had to be manually rehydrated due to the constant crying. Eventually, he turned his head and, despite his blindness, made focused eye contact with the scientist for the first time in the study. He whispered, I have spoken with God, and he has abandoned us, and his vital signs stopped. There was no apparent cause of death. Hello, I'm sorry if this audio sounds weird. I had to record an outro on my phone because I'm moving my bedroom around so my mic isn't set up. (laughs) So if this sounds really weird, that's why. Uh, Speaking of audio sounding weird, I know that my last video the audio came out sounding super, super quiet, and I, I, I have no idea why. It's really frustrating, but I might re-upload it with the audio fixed. I, I don't know what happened. When I edited the video, the audio was, you know, fine. If anything, it was a little loud, so <laughs> I'm not sure what happened, but I'm gonna try to fix it. Hopefully this video is a bit better. Um, but yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. This is actually my favorite creepypasta, like, of all time. I've loved this story since I was like 14, and it has remained my favorite, so I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did when I first heard it. If you want to send a horror story for me to narrate, whether it be true or fiction, you can email me or get in contact with me through Discord or Twitter. The links will be in the description along with a few others. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and stay safe.